Hello everybody, this is a Lamley unboxing. Hot Wheels 2023 US C case is what we're opening up today. Just came from Mattel, it means the C case is hitting. Uh, maybe some of you have found it here in the US. I know it's been found overseas. I know these unboxings have been done, but let's do it on Mattel's schedule here in the US. That means these should be hitting. It seems like, you know, in years past, the C case would be out already, um, but we're, you know, everything's been a little bit different. So we are here and uh, still learning. I've got, I've been so caught up in the Lamley Awards that trying to start figuring out all the new stuff for 2023, I'm starting to catch up and uh, we'll see what is in this case. I try and kind of play dumb. I just, like I said, I just did a B case unboxing. And uh, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go and uh, kind of just see what happens, right? And we start, wow, with some good ones. Got a little bit of a glare here. It's sunny out, but it's still freezing. Hence the gloves. This is the 89 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S, right? in a beautiful green color. I have not seen that color before. That is new for this case and it is a stunner. They've done just plain with this car, right? Pandem is uh, in the premium now. We haven't seen this particular casting go premium, but that looks nice. There's the Mercedes 300 SL from the B case would have been the super, could have been the super in the last case, not in this case. And then the Dodge van, which is the uh, Dodge Bon. I got a helicopter going right over us as we take a look at this fantastic model. This is the cool combi from the B case, right? It is in Moon Eyes. It's about maybe the per most perfect version so far that hasn't been like premium. I just think it's a fantastic combination. Until they do a Tillamook, uh, this is the way to go. I really love this one. One of the highlights of 23 so far. Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300, kind of a brown color. And then BMW R90 Street Racer. I think that was a new casting last year, right? In 2022. All right, Baja Bone Shaker, Dodge Van. Ooh, look at this. Pagani Zonda R. Pagani was a big hit last year. I think it's uh, winning currently the poll for best new model. Basic new model. Here it is in white, and that looks fantastic with the yellow rims. Um, wow, that is really, really cool. Okay, there's our first highlight, right? Oh, no, the RX-7 is a highlight. We're not going to put the... Um, I'm not going to put the combi in there because that's a B-case highlight. So let's put those off to the side and these off to the side. I just organize myself as we go. All right. Bentley Continental, that was in the last case. Uh, not this one. The Dodge or the Nissan Maxima drift car was. So we'll put those off to the side. The Matt and Debbie Hayes 1980 Pro Street Thunderbird second color in white. That's clean. Pink was the first version. This is a great casting. It's becoming a fun one to collect all of a sudden. I'd even love to see this thing go premium. I, that's just a great cast. That may not be your cup of tea car wise, but just I hope you appreciate how cool that is. Oh, man. All right, there's the Group C Fantasy. Is that new? Yeah, that's new. That's kind of a supercar take, but why do that when you have the, is it Rimac? Rimac? Nevera? In blue, that is a beautiful casting. Well, I know I've seen pictures of it, so a lot of you have, but look at the detailing on that. Let me put it in the sun and in the shade. Wow, that is a stunner. Put that with the Zonda. Wow, that's a really nice, I mean, that's a dollar car. Can you believe that? Look at all the separate pieces there. Wow. All right, highlights so far. This has been a good case. All right, we've seen all three of these, or, you know, the two models there. In the B case, that's the 2023 Nissan Z and the Porsche Panamera Tubar SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. Good castings, all of them. I think we've seen all of these from the B case as well. That's the Roger Dodger, that's the Baja Holler, and then of course another Maxima Drift Car. Super cool. Uh, I don't think we've seen the Diora 3, so you can look at that, but we have seen the Tesla. Here, there's shade, there's sun. That's, I really picked the time to do this, El Camino. Well, I did because it's, I like doing these outside. I've missed doing them. So if I'm, giving the, I'm getting the weather, then I do it. Hey, hey, brick and delivery, that's new, but that's not why I hey, hey. Hot wired, I don't know, that might be new to the case. That's not why I hate. I always hate if there's a new Greenwood, and there it is. That always goes into the collection. That's not the best looking version. Actually, it kind of is cool. Art car, no, I'll take it. I like it. I like it. It's got the dragon. Seems like they're uh, play, paying homage to our friend Massanong. I like that. 
I like that. Any greenwood, I don't care how it looks, goes in the collection. Love the greenwood. Standard cart, Mario Kart, Turbine Sublime. I think we've seen that. And then the custom small block. Don't know if we've seen a treasure hunt yet. If we have, I've missed it. And you guys can tell me in the comments, this thing is falling. Max Steel, that's cool. Bentley Continental, and there's always a plane. That's the Poison Arrow. And three more before we move on to the next group. Trying to push that back. Rally Special, I think that is from the last case. I know the Volvo P1800 Gasser is, and the Hot Wired. All right, so that's the first 36. I'm gonna move these around. Sorry, staying organized. All right, move this over here, and let's go with what's down below. I can't, there we go. All right, Barbie Extra, that was in pink last year in some sort of blue color, now it's in white. Ooh, is this new? Yeah, new Batmobile, right? Batman Forever Batmobile, is that from a cartoon? Must be, kind of cool. But I'm right in between the glare, and there is the Custom 11 Camaro. Ooh, 1988 Jeep Wagoneer. So that, they're not showing that as a new casting, so that must be uh, a modified, no, was the Wagoneer? Was the wagon here last year? No, this is the modified. Oh, am I just blanking? Wasn't there a Jeep last year? Was that the wagon here? That was, I don't know. This seems like, oh, all right, I'm confused. Was this the wagon here from last year? Or was that a Cherokee? I think that was a Cherokee. And then we have, isn't this the, this might be the wagon here that's a premium that we've seen in car culture a couple times and that sort of thing, I think. Sorry, I'm totally confused. Maybe that's new. It's not showing as a new casting. I can't remember if it's from last year. Anyway, but it's showing from the 80s, and it's really cool looking. Love the two-tone colors on that one. Corvette we've seen, and there's another RX-7. Oh! <laughs> Our first Super Pole of 2023. There we are. 1968 Copo Camaro. Wow, art car has the R up top. It's in a gold Copa Camaro with the mismatched wheels, the cartoon. I actually, Mattel had actually sent it to me so I could show it when I pulled the regular, but I don't need to. I pulled the super. Wow, that is awesome. That is a highlight. That is a very cool, I mean, it's a cool super because, you know, supers, it won't be my favorite personally, but I think in terms of being a super treasure hunt, that's a really, really well done one because it stands out, right? Gold colors are always cool. So is the regular in here? I don't even have a regular to compare it to and I don't see it. So you guys will have to tell me what it looks like because I haven't seen it. So that's the super. So now I have two supers. Um, obviously we'll open up one for the highlights later, but uh, Mercedes Benz 300 SL and the Bone Shaker. Still don't know if we've seen the uh, regular treasure hunt. Oh, Mazda 787B, right? I knew this was going. I actually did a preview of this one at JCCS. This has moved to the basic range. Used to be premium. So probably still is premium. Gets the metal spoiler. So that's kind of nice. They can have some fun with that with the Deco. The Deco's pretty clean. That's a highlight for sure. Did I miss some highlights, by the way? I don't think I did. I guess the... Oh, the Wagoneer is. I don't know if the... The Batmobile's not a highlight for me, but... Um, all right, quick bite and the 84 Mustang. Wow, always fun to pull a super, no matter who you are. Like, you guys go, oh, yeah, I know there's gonna be comments. You guys are, you already have one. I do have them because I show them and I do them in the Lamley Awards, but you know, I'll find use for that second one. But it's, uh, it's the best thing about a super is pulling it. All right, another cool combi, teed off two and the gotta go. I still get as excited, I, I don't care too much about getting them only because it's like it's more the fun of a super is finding it bone shaker c7 vet and then another batmobile batman forever batmobile twin duction another batmobile and another baja bone shaker seeing a lot of repeats now there's the el camino tesla model and then this mustang's a little bent up but we've seen all three of those repeats 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 wow all of a sudden it just really went to a lot of repeats now didn't it i mean you can't 
say that anything oh here we go dodge charger drift that is new track pursuit livery that's kind of cool i really like this custom ford maverick looks very japanese in its style i think it was supposed to be it's based on the sun king maverick and then hot wheels ford transit connect been a while since we've seen that casting right that's not new yeah it's been around for a while in art car livery those look cool and then we finish off nice to see There's the uh, roller toaster, the Rimac again, and the Hot Wheels hide. Did we get the treasure hunt? I have no idea. Um, you guys can tell me if it's in there because I didn't see it, but it's hard for me to, to look when I'm doing these. Highlights, plenty. It seemed like we got on a run of repeats. Jeep Wagoneer, definitely. Mazda 787B, definitely. Copa Camaro Super Treasure Hunt, absolutely. That second one over here. Greenwood Corvette. For me, it is. This might be your new model highlight. Well, it is your new model highlight, in my opinion, for sure. The Rimac, the Zonda going with that. Only one in that case. And then uh, I'll take the Matt and Debbie Hayes Thunderbird and the RX-7. Good case. Decent super. No idea about the regular. Uh, you guys tell me what you think. Thanks, everybody. More to come. Bye.